Hello everyone, we will continue the topic lock object and till the last video, we finished with the full practical of the lock object. We understood the concept, we created the lock object, then we used the NQ and DQ function modules inside the program and we did the full practical for the same. When we did the practical, firstly, we tried S, shared mode, but our requirement is not fulfilled by shared mode. Then we discussed that we can do or we have to go for right mode or we have to go for enhanced right mode. Because in both the modes, yes, other users cannot read, other users cannot change. So we used E mode. Suppose I'm changing it to X mode. Firstly, I will change. We will see the behavior. Then we will come on to the practical difference after that. Now I'm doing the same to same thing using enhanced right mode. I'm putting a breakpoint. I will go to display mode. If I will show you SM12 as of now, there is nothing in the SM12. Done. Now I am executing the program. Order number one, suppose I am going for payment mode D. I am the first user who is locking the order number one using enhanced right mode or enhanced right block. Size sub RC0 because I am the first user. If I will show you SM12. Yes, I logged order number one. And what is the mode? Mode is X. X means enhanced right mode. Now I will go to another user. Or you can go try with same to same user. Suppose we are going for same to same. No problem. So I'm going to another session. I'm running the program. I'm passing same to same order number in another session. Now I will, I now I'm trying to change the same to same order number in another session and it is already locked. So have you got, I got the size sub RC1 and this is the message that order number one is already locked by user R. Now same requirement we achieved through right lock and same requirement we achieved through enhanced right lock. Now what is our requirement? That multiple users cannot change the same order number at the same time. So the, up to this level, our requirement we can achieve through right lock also, we can achieve through enhanced right lock also. Now we will see the difference between both of them. When we cover the theory part, we cover right lock can be requested several times from the same transaction, but enhanced right lock can only be requested one time from the same transaction. Now we will understand this concept. Important difference, very important difference. Suppose I will go for, okay. This is R Mahata one. I will go for R Mahata. I will go to SC38 transaction code. Now I will simply, simply go to E mode, right mode. I will simply go for E mode, right lock. 
or you can say exclusive block. Now, now what is written in case of write lock can be requested several times from the same transaction. This is our transaction. Now, suppose I'm going for locking several times. I will lock several times. So I'm going for locking two times. And yes, yes, depends upon the requirement. We need to lock multiple times sometimes in the program. Now I have written the logic to lock multiple times. And this is our right lock. I'm activating. Now I will put a breakpoint and show you. I will close other sessions so that we can get a full clarity. Okay. I'm running the program. I will show you SM12 as of now. I will close R Mehtawar. I'll close other user. No problem. Okay. I will show you SM12. In SM12, nothing is there. I'm going to running off the program. Okay. I'll just go to the program. I will run the program. Now we are going for multiple right lock in the same transaction. Yes, we have the same transaction or same program. Order number one, I'm going for payment mode. Now we will lock the order number one for the first time. What is size of RC? Zero. If I will show you SM12, just see, I lock this order number one and for this particular table. Now it will play a vital role. Just see what is the counter as of now, one, one. And just read the theory. Right lock can be requested several times from the same transaction and are processed successively. Successively means counter will increase. Now the counter is one. Now we are going for again, again, locking the same order number using NQ. In the same transaction, have you seen size of RC is zero? Because in the same transaction, we are locking again by using which mode? Right mode, right. If I will show you the counter now, now the counter is Two. Just see the counter is two. So multiple right locks are allowed. Allowed. We can lock multiple times if we are going for right lock, but in the same transaction. See, in the same transaction, we are locking. We are requesting right lock multiple times, and counter is always always increasing. Now. If I will simply, simply go to exclusive mode now. I, sim I will simply go for enhanced right mode. Sorry, I am going for now enhanced right mode. Right lock is called as exclusive lock. Enhanced right lock is called as exclusive lock without cumulation. Right lock is exclusive lock with cumulation, the counter is increasing. Now I will go for now enhanced right lock. It means exclusive lock without cumulation. One time I am requesting, another time I am requesting. I will activate. And you will get a full understanding now. Whenever I will show the practical, 
am running the program. I'm going for order number one, C. Now I want to lock the order number one by using which particular mode, enhanced write mode, exclusive lock without accumulation. First time successfully locked. I'm going to SM12. If I will show you the lock entries, you can see the counter is one and I logged the order number one using which mode? Enhanced right mode. And it is without accumulation. Counter will not increase if I will try to lock again. I will get an error. I will get an error. Now, order number one, I logged through which particular mode? Enhanced right mode. So, multiple locks, multiple enhanced right locks are not allowed. It is clearly written in the theory. Yes, it is only, only requested once in the same transaction. Now, if I will go again, you can see we are simply, simply getting the error. So this is the major practical difference between right lock and enhanced right lock. Yes, firstly, we took the requirement that multiple users cannot change the same order number at the same time. Yes, if this is the requirement, you can go for right lock, you can go for enhanced right lock, no problem. But if the further requirement is there, yes, multiple locks are allowed or not allowed if multiple locks are allowed for a particular data, then we should compulsory go for right lock because if we will go for enhanced right lock, multiple locks are not allowed. Multiple locks are not allowed. Whenever multiple locks are allowed, the counter is increasing. But in case of enhanced right lock, it is exclusive lock without accumulation. So in that case, yes, counter will not increase and I will get the error. Extremely important understanding. So what is the summary of the video? In this video, we saw the practical difference between right lock and enhanced right lock. Right lock, just understand it is exclusive lock. And you can add the word with cumulation. With cumulation, enhanced right lock is also exclusive lock, but it is without cumulation. In case of right lock, you can lock the data multiple times. Multiple right locks are allowed and it will be successfully progressed. The counter will increase. The counter will increase. Yes. But in case of enhanced right lock, yes, it can be only requested once from the same transaction. The same transaction word is very important because in the same program, yes, we are doing same to same thing. We are locking multiple times. So in case of enhanced right lock, we can only, only go once multiple enhanced right locks are not available. So that's it in this particular video. Thank you.